again Joel welcome back to another video and for today I'm going to present to you my Christmas book haul so these are the books that I got as a gift for 2019 Christmas and also the books I have purchased for the past couple of weeks so without further ado let's start so I'm going to present if you're following me on Instagram at Bisaya Reader I already showed my um, books that I got as a Christmas gifts and um, the first one I got, I got it from Kay. Uh, Kay gave me this, The Poppy War by Arif Kwang, the first book of uh, fantasy, adult fantasy series. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. I've heard that this made the author as one of the best debut author for New Go, a finalist, probably last year or this year, Hugo Awards. Also one of the best fantasy books according to some of the friends some of my friends I knew or some of the booktubers I follow on YouTube I was actually shocked to have this edition which is the orange one because I used to know that this is only on a large paperback or hardback cover with a white background so I didn't expect that I'll be receiving this specific title and also this kind of edition with the orange one orange is my favorite color so yeah can't wait to read this one there are actually i'm quite hesitant i was able to pick this one up soon because of the mixed reviews they said that it's good at the start and the uh, last half was bad but a lot of people was raving about how good the dragon republic is the second book of the series so in order for me to experience how good the Dragon Republic is, I need to read first the Poppy War. So I'm really, really thankful I got this as a gift from K. Thank you so much, K. The next book I got is, um, let me see here. What else? Yep. I got this as a gift also from Marlo. Uh, the funny, there's a funny story about this one is that um, he tried to uh, let me play a game that is... Um, he gave me 20 minutes to choose the books that I want from Ayala fully book uh, branch uh, within 20 minutes I need to choose the books that I want to purchase uh, as long as it does not exceed for 2k or 2,000 pesos and if I can do that he'll go into you know give me those books for free so what he did not expect that 20 minutes is really really long so I just immediately you know finish Choosing the books I wanted for Christmas within like around 10 minutes, I think. So, the first book that I got as a gift from him is The Rebel by Marilu. I am really shocked that there is a fourth book of the trilogy because I thought it's only the legend, prodigy, and champion. And after a few years of, you know, champion being published, the finale of the trilogy, Marilu decided to do a follow-up. Uh, it's set on the same world with the same characters, but the main character here, the point of view of this one, is not the you know day and June on the first trilogy. So it's actually the brother of June, I think. I'm not really sure. Brother of day, I'm not really sure. So I haven't read this one, but I'm really excited. I love Marilu. We have we do have a love and hate relationship. So since this is set in the world of one of my best or favorite young adult trilogy or series of all time i'm quite excited to have this one the next book that i got from that game gave into to me by marley is the second book a sequel one of my most anticipated young adult sequel for 2019 children of virtue and tricycle so children of virtue and vengeance the second book of the children of blood and bone by tomi diami which is the children of blood and bone i've read last year and one of the best debut book according to many uh, last 2018 this is a, one of the most anticipated book or you know sequel of uh, a lot of book lovers out there this is a young adult fantasy and yep i'm really excited to read this one so uh, i'm not going to talk more about this since this is the second book i don't want to spoil you guys if you haven't read the first book but what i can say is that it's uh, the series, according to what I've read for the first book, will give you the adventure, will give you magic, and, you know, pretty acceptable set of characters. That's what I say. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars, by the way, because I do think the first book, The Children of Blood and Bone, was all over the place. Uh, it was still a good book. You know, it was really quite enjoyable. The next book that I have here is one of the best that I got 
or one of the best books I'm about to present to you. I always wanted this one really is one of the books that I really want to own next year and did not expect I was able to own a copy as early as now. And this is the last gift by Marlowe to me. It is Joe Abercrombie's Little Hatred, the eighth book on the world of the blade itself. But this is the first book of a new trilogy. I did some research before picking this one up and I heard that you can read this one even though you haven't read the previous books or the previous trilogies. But it is highly recommended by the fans who follow the series or the, the world set by Joe Abercrombie to read first The Heroes, which is a standalone book, probably book 6 or book 7, since this is book 8. Since that book will give you not the plot, not, not spoiling the story, but just give you enough information of some of the characters that you'll be able to encounter this one. You can read this without reading The Heroes, but what they said is that you get to have more entertainment or get to appreciate or enjoy more the start of the series if you're able to read the heroes so yeah no need to read the other trilogies this is a standalone book which is the heroes which i still don't have a copy i'm really excited to read this one so i'm quite you know deciding if i have to skip the heroes and read this immediately or just read first the heroes before reading this one so i have to decide but for sure this is really top of my tbr after reading recursion maybe i'll read this after recursion will be <laughs> yep so forget all the bright places i uh, know oh, sorry um all the light we can see and the nightingale those books that i've mentioned i'm really excited to read on 2020 move those posts this one is the real deal i can't wait. And for those of you who are asking, this is an adult fantasy, and uh, Jerry Abercrombie is known as one of the best author for writing grim dark fantasies. So yep, I'm into this one. The next book I have here is, are, are probably are the books that I purchased for myself, and considered this as a gift to myself. Also, got this one for twenty pesos from book sale. This is a thriller mystery, thriller I think, murder mystery. And uh, it does have bad reviews on Goodreads, but the main reason why I picked this one up, aside from very, very cheap, is I was, you know, drawn by the cover. I did like the cover. I think the cover was black. There's something about black and red and white that captivates me, so. Yep, and it's a thriller, and so i just trying to haul some good thriller books for 2020 because, yep. As you know, if you don't know yet, I was really, you know, loving thrillers, murder mystery genre this 2019. Next book I got also, I purchased this for myself for 35 pesos, again, from book sale. And, and this is True by Emily Mackey. Never heard about this author, never heard about this book, never heard about the story. I don't even know what's the story. I just bought this one because, again, aside from the price, also <laughs> by the cover. Something about black and yellow and white, black, yellow, and red covers captivated me so cheap. But this, this is a young adult coming of age story, and it's a fiction. That's all I know about that one, which I am not planning to read that soon, but hopefully, I'll be able to read it next year or next next year i don't know i just love to see beautiful covers or beautiful covers on my shelves next book i have here is for 25 pesos i got this because not because of the cover but because the awards and the price and this is zoe Ton, i think by dave eggers and this is a true to a life um story or book about the survival of the family during the hurricane katrina way back in early 2000s in america and yep I am really excited to read this one and that's all I know about this book and I just bought this because of the awards and the blurs at the back and of course for the price but I hate the cover though I don't like brown but yep it's you know good to know that you have some good quality books on your shelf next what I have here is I'm not really sure if I was able to show this to you guys or this is will be the first time I'm going to show this to you I got this from Stal Hilar on Facebook the owner of um, Bakul book sale and this is all the light we can see 
by Anthony Dewar. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. This also has a winner of the Pulitzer Prize. A lot of people have been talking about how great this book is. And uh, there will be a coming TV series on Netflix or Amazon Originals. I don't know. I've heard that there will be a you know adaptation for this one, a TV series adaptation for this book. And um, a lot of people really love this. I almost read this on Christmas Eve, but I changed my mind and chose recursion instead of reading this because I did receive some messages on Instagram that I need to skip and not read this on Christmas Eve so that I can, you know, there will be a lot of trigger, depression triggers on this one. And it's not a good choice to a good book to read on Christmas Eve because it's pretty depressing. That's what they said because it stopped. It talks about war, and yep, that's all I know. I don't want to know more about this book. I want to go blind. Um, I go. I want to be blind reading this one. Not blind literally, just like knowing less what the book is all about so that I can lower my expectations. Since this is really really hype, so I just really want to lower my expectations on this one and then just read whatever this book. No prepares for me and it's a winner Pulitzer Prize I've read a couple of Pulitzer Prize winner books this 2019 and one of it is The Road by Cormac McCarthy I read it last month I think and I did gave it I did give it five stars so probably you know Pulitzer Prize are a thing for me I think the second to the last book I'm going to present to you is the Inheritance by Christopher Paolini and I got this from Stel Hilar again on the Kulit book sale and this is the fourth and final book of the Aragon series it's a middle grade or young adult fantasy series I do have Aragon and Inheritance I got them both from book sale for 90 pesos each and I only have, I don't have, in, uh, sorry, Brusinger writing. I, I only lack Inheritance and Eldest on the series. That's why I got this from books, fully book, the new branch fully book on Central Block Ayala. I mean, Cebu. And it's for 380 pesos, I think. So I got this. I was about to purchase also Eldest, but when the moment when I returned to purchase Inheritance and Eldest, the physical copies of Eldest ran out. So... I just purchased this one and pre-order the eldest and um, I need to pause the video because I miss one book here I still have to get it from my room so I'll be back okay I'm back so the next book I told you a while ago I have two book two books left but actually it's three because again there's one book on my room I need to get so second to the last book this is the final <laughs> is a special limited edition for Eldest, a uh, second book of the Aragon series by Christopher Tricycle. Christopher Tricycle. Christopher Bolini. So, yep, I I think there's a reason why I did not, I wasn't able to purchase a physical copy on Fully Book Central Block in IT Park because I was really meant to purchase this one. And it's a limited edition for 350 pesos, I think. Again, from Stel Hiller on Facebook, Bakul Book Sale. If you want to purchase, it's really cheap. Um, got it actually today. Here's the box. I'm supposed to do some unboxing, but I can't really wait. So I just really opened the box. And, yep. Got this one. I was really shocked because there's actually... Since it's a special limited edition, I already covered it a while ago, earlier this afternoon after opening the box. There's actually a poster at the back for I thought it was Elvis, but it's Glad Year Glader. I don't know, I haven't read the series yet. I'm planning to read Aragon series, the first book Aragon on January 2020. So yep, then this is the second book. I now have Aragon Bursinger. Eldest and the finale inheritance, so I can binge read them. Hopefully, oops, I dropped the stack. 
Yep, and the last book that I have here for this video is also I got it together with, ordered it together with this one. Got it in the same box arrived today. Actually, it arrived on the twenty first, but I was really busy in the office since you know it's Christmas. I only have the uh, you know spare time uh, earlier today. And the last book that I got is I can't believe I already have a own a copy for this one, and this is. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I always wanted to purchase a copy for this one for the past couple of years, not just weeks, days, or months, but for years. I can still remember I almost purchased a copy, which is a mass paperback edition way back in 2015. That was four years ago, imagine. And then I did not because it's a mass paperback. If you don't know, I don't like mass paperback. It's one of my bookish pet peeves that I don't like mass paperbacks, except for Brandon Sanderson because I don't have a choice. Because Brandon Sanderson books are really expensive, and what I can only afford are those mass paperback editions. This one, what I always see on our local bookstores on um, Fully Book and National Bookstores are only mass paperback editions, which is pretty sad. So that's the main reason why that stop you know that's the main reason that stops me from purchasing a physical copy to myself, and also even though there's really a good, you know, great reviews about how good this book is, I learned somehow earlier in two thousand sixteen when I almost purchased this and heard that there is a love story in the book which turns me off. That's the main reason again. The second reason why I did not purchase a physical copy because I was almost ready to purchase a mass paperback copy for myself but learning that there's there will be a love story in this story in this book it turned me off so yep so 2017 2018 were you know went through 2019 is about to you know to compete to finish and 2020 is about to start that's the time I was able to finally have a physical copy of Night Circus uh, second book was released last month starless sea which a lot of people was shocked because they were thinking that this is a standalone and then after seven years i think this was published in 2011 after seven or eight years a sequel the second book of this book was released and i heard that it was bad but th when i saw this one on stellar on facebook his own uh, her online bookshop and also book sale Bacolod uh, for 200 pesos yep and it's not a mass paperback it's a paperback edition beautiful cover good as new white and there's actually uh, don't like this when there's a cut on the cover but I'm not complaining it's way way cheaper than mass paperback it's a better physical copy better edition and smells good so i picked this together with this one and they arrived today so yep it's a really merry christmas for me guys and by the way i forgot happy holidays by the way i hope you do have you know you enjoy your christmas and thank you so much by the way guys for all the love and support that you gave to my channel for the year 2019 and yep hoping to see you more on my videos on 2020 in 2020 and yep thank you so much and happy holidays if you like this video please like and subscribe and leave some comments down below it's, it's pretty weird i'm trying to say that because i always promise myself i'm not going to say those lines like and subscribe leave some comments below but yeah it is what it is so thank you so much guys Steve and joe and hoping to post some videos before 2019 ends with regards to my best books that I've read this year most disappointing most hype and worst books I've read this year and here's my cat hi Mimi you wanna see come here ah. Mimi meet Mimi hi say hi <laughs> yep so yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas again and see you. Happy New Year.